Good morning students, welcome to 10 to science. Unit 10 types of chemical reactions part 1. In our day to day life you come across the various phenomena like fading of colors of cloths, burning of combustible substances like cooking gas, wood and coal and the rusting of iron articles. These are chemical changes. So, in this chapter we will discuss about the types of chemical reactions. What are the learning objectives? To infer the different types of chemical reaction, to occur knowledge about combination reaction and skill to perform a combination reaction using quick lime and water, calcium oxide CaO and water to form calcium hydroxide. So, it is used for whitewashing. To identify and differentiate between reversible and irreversible reactions. To explain the reversible reaction occurring at the equilibrium state and to list and explain the characteristics of equilibrium state and to define the rate of the reaction or speed of the reaction and to discuss the dependence of speed of the reaction or rate of the reaction on concentration, temperature and catalyst to define pH. What is pH means pH is the power of hydrogen ion concentration in a given solution and to correlate the concentration of hydrogen ions H plus ions and with neutral, acidic and basic nature of aqueous solution. pH value only desired whether the solution is acidic, basic or neutral and to recognize the importance of pH in everyday life like pH in soil, pH in water, pH in hu human blood and also to explain the term of ionic product of water. Introductions to the chemical reactions. Where do we get the energy from? We get the energy from the digestion of the food. How do plants grow and get their food? Plants grow by absorbing nutrition from the earth and get their food by photosynthesis. Photosynthesis means it takes place in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. How does a car move with fuel? The combustion of a fuel making the car to move. And why does the iron rest on its exposure to water or air? When iron is exposed to air or water, it forms rust. Rust is brown hydrated ferric oxide. It is the oxidation of iron causes rusting. Now, what happens during a chemical reaction? In a chemical reaction, atoms of the reacting molecules are elements. Hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water. What are the reacting molecules hydrogen and oxygen are rearranged to form a new molecule that is a product that is water. So, all the chemical bonds between atoms are broken and a new chemical bonds are formed. Bond breaking they absorbs the energy whereas the bond formation it releases the energy. How are chemical reactions represented? When methane reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water, this is a word equation. So, how to write the chemical equation? The chemical equation provides information on the physical state of the substances. For example, solid means you have to represent it as S, liquid L gaseous G, aqua solution AQ and the conditions which the reaction takes place. The chemical equation is CH4 methane, it reacts with oxygen O2 to form 
carbon dioxide CO2 and water H2O. It is a chemical equation. Now, balance the equation. 4 hydrogen, you have to balance, you have to put 2, 2, 2 is so 4 hydrogen. So, hydrogen is balanced. Now, check the oxygen, 2 oxygen, 2 oxygen, totally 4 oxygen. So, you have to put 2. 2, 2 is so 4 oxygen. It is a balanced chemical equation. Then, what are the types of chemical reactions? Classification based on the nature of rearrangement of atoms. The first one, combination reaction, decomposition reactions, single displacement reactions, double displacement reactions and combustion reactions. The second type, classification based on the direction of the reaction, it is classified into reversible reactions and irreversible reactions. The first one, classification based on the nature of rearrangement of atoms. The first type that is combination reaction. A combination reaction is a reaction in which two or more reactants combine to form a compound. It, it is otherwise called as synthesis reaction or composition reaction. When a reactant A combines with B, it forms a product AB. The general scheme of a combination reaction is given below. A plus B, both of them are reactant. They react to give a product AB. For example, hydrogen gas reacts with chlorine gas to form hydrogen chloride gas. Now, balance it. 2 hyd hydrogen, 2 Cl. So, here I have to put 2 HCl. Depending on the chemical nature of the reactant, there are three classes of combination reaction. First one, element, element compound. When element reacts with element to form a compound. For example, sulfur. Sulfur is an element. It re reacts with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide, element, element to form a compound. The second type, compound reacts with element to form a compound. For example, phosphorus trichloride, it is a compound, it reacts with element chlorine gas to form phosphorus pentachloride, it is a compound. The third one, when compound reacts with compound to form a compound. For example, SiO2, silicon dioxide, it reacts with calcium oxide, CaO, to form calcium silicate, CaSiO3. So, most of the combination reactions are exothermic in nature. Exothermic means the heat is liberated because they involve the formation of a new bond. Second type, decomposition reactions. In a decomposition reaction, single compound split into two or more simpler substances under, under suitable conditions. The general scheme of the decomposition reaction is given below. A, A and B. It is a single compound. It, re, it uh, split into form A plus B. There are three main classes of decomposition reactions. They are thermal decomposition reactions, electrolytic decomposition reactions, photo decomposition reactions. The first one, thermal decomposition reaction. In this type of reaction, the reactant is decomposed by applying a heat. For example, mercury 2 oxide, HGO, is decomposed. You supply the heat it into mercury metal and oxygen gas. As the molecule is dissociated by the absorption of heat, 
absorption of heat is called as endothermic reaction. It is otherwise called as thermolysis. HGO, mer mercury 2 oxide, when you uh, supply the heat, you apply the heat, it split into mercury and oxygen. When calcium carbonate, if you are heating, what happens? It forms calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So, a compound, it is decomposed into compound and compound reaction. So, in thermal decomposition reaction, thermal reaction means heat is supplied to break the bonds. Such reactions in which the heat is observed are called endothermic reactions. Second type, electrolytic decomposition reaction. In some of the decomposition reactions, electrical energy is used to bring about the reaction. For example, decomposition of sodium chloride, NaCl, occurs on passing electric current through its aqueous solution, sodium chloride solution. When you apply the, when you supply the electrical energy, sodium chloride decomposes into sodium and chlorine gas. This process is termed as electrolysis, NaCl. Now, you apply the electrical energy, it forms sodium, Na, plus chlorine gas. Now, balance it, how many Cl? 2 Cl here, so here you have to put 2. 2 Na, so here you have to put 2. Now, it is a balanced equation. The color of sodium is white in color and this chlorine is a pale yellow green color in chlorine gas. Now, third one photo decomposition reactions. Light is an another form of energy which facilitates some of the decomposition reactions. For example, when silver bromide, silver bromide means AGBR is exposed to sunlight, it breaks down into silver metal and bromine gas as the decomposition is caused by sunlight. This kind of reaction is called as photolysis. For example, AGBR, silver bromide, okay, in the presence of sunlight it forms silver Ag plus bromine gas, Br2. Here 2 Br, so here you have to put 2. So 2 Ag, so here you have to put 2. Now it is a balanced chemical equation. The color of silver bromide is light yellow. And it, in the, it, when exposed to sunlight, it forms silver metal. It is gray in color and this bromine gas is a purple in color. It is very poisonous gas. Now, come to the assignment. Explain the types of decomposition reactions with example. Second one, what is combination reactions? What are its types? Third one, how are chemical reactions are represented? So, this question you have to write, learn and write one time. Okay, students, thank you.